Well, today, of course, was the last chance for the attorneys on both sides to make their case to the jury. Lauren Lemanchek spoke to some legal experts to get in-depth analysis and find out how they think they performed. It was the biggest stage and the stakes couldn't be higher. So how did the lawyers do? Attorneys Doug Kelly and A.L. Brown weighed in, both surprised by how much they talked. Have you ever heard closing statements this long in a case? Uh, no, and I never wanted to hear it again. Uh, I just think it was too long. I think the enormity of the event just let things get away from them. Another surprise, the defense used more video than prosecutors did. I thought that was one of the missed opportunities. I was really thinking they were going to end and the uh, wonderful conclusion here was going to be, here's the tape, now you must find him guilty. Despite the length, did the defense win themselves some points with the jurors today? I think substantively they did. I, I think their ability to kind of bring Mr. Chauvin into the mainstream of policing. I thought that was actually really effective on his part. Kelly said defense attorney Eric Nelson connected a lot of dots and was able to take shots at the state's expert witnesses. Those little things sometimes are what jurors can seize on um, to find reasonable doubt. As for prosecutors, Brown thinks they may have made their case too complicated. You see it from the eyes of a child. The child is the witness who said everyone knew it was wrong. It doesn't get any better than that. What is it like once for the lawyers, for the defendant, for every, for the family of the victim when the jury is back in the jury room? Just waiting on a jury to come back is just a miserable time. You wonder as a lawyer if you got everything right, if you made all the points, if you went too long, if you went too short. Now, in our conversation, the other thing that really surprised Doug Kelly was that never did the defense try to show a human side to Derek Chauvin by acknowledging or apologizing to the Floyd family. I asked both how long they thought a verdict would take, and they said, you just can never predict what a juror, what jurors will do. Julie. All right. Thank you, Lauren.